Okay. That should be good now. Hopefully the sound is coming through fine. I did not test this beforehand, so it should be, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, I need that up there. I just need to write down this cheat code I'm going to use. Okay, let's see. That, come on, mouse. Okay, level select. Square, square, circle, square. Up, right, left, right, circle, up, right, down. All right, square, square, circle, square. Left, right, left, right. Circle, up, right, down. That looks right. Okay. Um, and actually, you know, before I actually start a real run, I'm just gonna jump over to a save state, I guess, and, uh, and see if that's right. No, wait, do I have to do that on the inventory? Yes, in the inventory. Sorry. Inventory. Square, square, circle, square, left, right, left, right, circle, up, right, down. Actually, maybe this wasn't the best save state to do that in. Uh, five should be good, right? What's my inventory look like here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that is right then. Okay. Cool. So I will reset. And now this should be good. Yeah. Frank, sir, did you ever play much Spyro? Uh, new game, overwrite slot 3, I guess, why not? Okay, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Now time actually starts when, uh, when I gain control of Spyro. So, I mean, I can just let this cutscene play if I want. Just trying to get all my computer set up. Seriously, Twitch? Twitch is doing that glitch again. That's annoying. Oh, well. Um. So, I'm sorry, you said yes, you played Sparrow in your childhood a lot. All three of the, uh... The trilogy, or... Oh, fuck. I, I'm sorry, I messed up. Let me try that again. There we go. Okay, Stonehill's the first one. I'm just following those splits down there. Um... So, hopefully those splits won't be too hard to, to figure out. That is one level down. So if you missed it, this is Vortex Percent. Uh, my goal is to... Oh, Town Square's next. My goal is to enter every level Vortex, and then kill Nasty Nork. Except the Vortex on, um, on Nasty's loot. You don't need to do that one. So you don't need to worry about gems, you don't need to worry about dragons. Uh... You just need to get to the end of the level. And the cheat code is allowed at the beginning, that's why you don't have to worry about gems or dragons. Oh man, that... okay, I don't even care that I hit Thor. Thank, Thank you, you for, for releasing, releasing me. me! Best dragon. Uh, I'm surprised I got that jump on my first try. I haven't done that in a long time. 
So that's cool. These splits are going to be super inconsistent, but I don't care. Let's see if I can make this wall glide first try too, won't that be something special? No, I can't do that. Oh well. Over to Toasty. Anyway, yeah, it was uh, Spyro 1, Ripto's Rage. Or in Europe uh, and Australia, Ripto's Rage was called the Gateway to Glimmer. Uh, and Year of the Dragon was the third one. I've been pretty happy speedrunning this game. This is a fun one. And I'm particularly interested in doing Vortex Percent, just because uh, most of where my skills lie in this game come from just, I mean, knowing the level more than anything. Wait, seriously, I can hit Toasty anywhere here? I don't need to worry about the dogs? I don't need to worry about the dogs, that's amazing! I mean, I need to worry about the dogs if they're going to kill me, but otherwise I don't. Dope. Yeah, man, if you like Spyro, you should definitely check out the uh, Spyro 1. Well, I mean, honestly, Spyro 1, 2, and 3 all have some pretty crazy shit. Spyro 1 has the fewest glitches by kind of a lot, um, but there's still some good stuff here. I'm having that moment that I have sometimes when I'm speedrunning where I'm kind of trying to talk, but I'm also trying to kind of focus on the run, and I'm curious if most of my thoughts are actually being finished or if I'm just starting to say a lot of things and then stopping. So, sorry if something I say just kind of comes out as nonsense. Yeah, you only played them casually. That's fine, most people did. Okay, now because of that cheat I put in earlier, I can be done with Artisans right now. I should have put two splits ahead. Shit. I'm pretty sure I'm going to Magic Crafters right now. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know this route. Overall. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You just do magic crafters like you would normally. Except at the end, when you talk to the balloonist, because you don't have any eggs, he's like, Hey Spyro, here's some places where you can get eggs. Um, and you want him to send you to Clifftown, I think. I think it's Clifftown. <laughs> Man, I really should have thought about my timer layout before I started this. I'll get out of here. fun thing, you can go around that guy. You don't need to worry about timing that jump at all. Oh, no. That is Alpine Ridge done. Also, this is definitely the last thing. That's... Is that the fastest way? No, I feel like it'd be a lot faster to go this way. Oh man, I'm not actually sure here. I thought this run would be so straightforward, but here I am. Come on, Tornado. 
There you go. Oops. PS1 game disc, scratched. Oh, it never loaded Crystal Flight? It's a bummer, Crystal Flight is actually really cool. It's one of my five favorite flights in this game. No, really though, I like Crystal Flight, it's a fun one. Although I think about it now, and I do... I really like all of the flights. This game is so good. Okay, let's see how this goes now. Great. That's exactly what I wanted, actually. I just wanted to get smacked by that guy. Just passed by the dragon Lucas, named for the great Spyro player, one named Lucas. No, I'm joking. There's a Spyro player that I watch that I like. And his username is one named Lucas. Uh, and every time he goes there, he says that's his favorite dragon in the game, because it's named Lucas. Do I want to collect this dragon? Because there's a decent chance I'm just going to die right here. I'm really bad at this level. Nope, I'm good. Never mind. I also don't need to kill him. So I'm just going for the vortex. Is this the only boss you don't need to kill? It might be. Okay, so now this. Um, yeah? Oh, did you? Uh, no, I don't want to go to Stone Hill. Let's try that one more time. Come on, Clifftown. No, not Dry Canyon. Third time's the charm. There you go. Yeah, let's go to Clifftown. I was wrong, I wanted to go to Dry Canyon. God damn it. <laughs> oh well. Now I'm going to Clifftown, it's fine. I think it's two to skip a split. So, I'll just go to Dry Canyon after this and split then. So anyway, that's why you go to uh, Magic Crafters before Peacemakers, is that Balloonist will just send you directly into a level, which theoretically saves time. Um, I suppose it probably doesn't save a lot of time if you screw it up like I just did, by not knowing what the splits are supposed to be. Bunk.
those stairs were not too bad for me. Right, so I guess I'll split now then? I think that probably fixed it. I'm going to Shemp next, okay. Oh, what causes the bonk on the portal? Um... From what I understand, and this is... I am not the best person to ask this, but from what I understand, uh, there is a wall basically directly behind that portal. Come on. There you go. Um... So, if Spyro does not actually trigger the portal correctly, um, it won't, you know, give you time to try to say, hey, wait a minute, are you supposed to be going through a portal? And instead it registers, hey, you just hit a wall, and you bonk. I believe that's what causes that, but, again, other people know much better than me. Ooh, this is gonna be a nice thing about Vortex Percent, is I can do this level backwards. That's where I want to go, because in every other category, there's no reason to go this way. It's much slower to try to get everything this way. But in Vortex Percent, if you're just going to the end, that's the fastest way to do it. go. Peacekeepers is done. I believe I'm going to Beastmakers now. Good. Yeah. On to Terrace Village. You know what? Since I don't really care about life or health, Yep, knew I would fail that, but I still save time going that way. I never do that in full runs, because I usually can't really afford to lose the life there. Come on now. Come on now. Sure. Yeah, I'll take that hit, why not? Uh, I'm gonna take this dragon for safety real quick. Oh, I love this world. This used to be my least favorite world in the game, but... Yep, glad I took that dragon. Uh, but as I got older, I started really loving it. Oh man, this isn't actually good. I never fail this jump. What's going on here? There we go. I made a jump that I don't even know is actually faster. Go me. Um, yeah, Metalhead is cool. That boss. That's not quite right, and I waited too long. Great. Um, I really love the dragons in this world, actually, uh, because they love their swamp, and it's hilarious. Uh, like, the first dragon that you can rescue here in Beast Makers, um, he has a line where he says, like, and our swamp used to be so beautiful. And it's, it's, it's great. It makes me tear up every time. And then there's Roscoe over in this level, where he's like, hey Spyro, watch out for attack frogs. Uh, and...
and he complains about that for a minute, and he ends his speech by saying, like... Oh, what is it? It's, um... Oh! I thought that was the right way to go. Is it... Oh, I bet it's over this way. Yeah, there we go. I totally went the wrong way there. Anyway, he ends his bit by saying, um... And this used to be such a nice swamp. The dragons here love their swamp, and it's adorable, and I love them. All of them. And Treetops is really hard, but I love it as a level. One of the best designed levels in any game I have played. Now, I imagine it'll be faster to go this way. So long as I don't accidentally die here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a couple extra lives on the way. Because I am running much lower on lives than I would like to be. the vortex. Misty Bog music is in the end of the Year of the Dragon credits? I don't know, it might be. I actually don't know Year of the Dragon that well. Um, I mostly played this as a kid, and also to a lesser extent Ripto's Rage, but Year of the Dragon I didn't play as much. See, now I imagine it would probably be faster on this level to go down this way. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. Sparks figured it out. And then just turn around here. And just skip that dragon because swag. I'm amazing. If I manage to live through this, I will be very impressed. No! Okay. Okay. One more cycle. Er, not cycle. One more segment. There we go. Okay, I'm actually shocked that I didn't die there. I really thought I would. <laughs> I'll grab one of the chickens. Two of the chickens, actually. Might as well have blue sparks. Okay. And then I will go over to Dreamweavers. It looks like I'm doing Haunted Towers first. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm probably going to do these in the same order as normal. And I keep saying normal. Normal being the 100% run in this. Yeah, the only major difference between the level order in this and 120% is just going to Magic Crafters before Peacemakers. And then doing that totally screws up the Peacemakers. Order. See if I can do this right. I probably can't, but let's see. Nope, I can't. Oh well. If you're fast, you can get that door with that fairy's breath, but oh well.
I should actually just practice that sometime, because I almost never get it. And it would be very useful. See, I believe I want... No, that's not right. I was gonna say, I believe I want the first door on the right. That's fine. So long as I don't take one more damage. Should be good. Because <clears throat> I'm just about to death warp anyway. Okay, and now over to Dark Passage. Thought so. Let's see how much of this level I can just kind of ignore. Not those big guys, they will get me, every time. I don't think I have a choice in that. When they're little, I'm fine. When those dogs are big, that is not something I will dodge. Except like that, where I'm a wizard. Oh my god, I actually can't believe I avoided that. That was a pretty nice dark passage. Uh, Lofty Castle, right. I kept following noise but didn't bring it to screen. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I probably have my Twitch alerts set up wrong. Uh, if you followed me, uh, thanks for that. Sorry, I have mostly been an N++ speedrunner up until now. And generally, when you are an N++ speedrunner, you don't need to worry about getting a lot of follows that you need to thank people for, because nobody cares about N++. So I only just recently even tried setting up Twitch alerts, and I'm still getting used to some of it. Pretty sure I need these fairies. I can't think of a way that I would get through here without getting them. Unless you can do some crazy ass supercharged jump, but you would need different fairies for that anyway. Discord, and they're probably the only ones playing the game often. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I'm going to Jacques next. And I mean, honestly, even among people who play the game often, speedrunning the game is not the first thing that they want to see. So I've kind of, you know, put myself in a small subs subset of an already small community. But that's fine. I enjoy speedrunning. I never did it for the, the views. Um, 
totally can jump up here just before he disappears, but you've also got a good chance of pushing yourself out, so I was happy to wait there. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to Asti's world. I mean, speedrunning in general is a kind of big community. Uh, speedrunning N++ is a community of, like, five people. My cat really wants to sit on my keyboard right now, but that's not something I'm gonna let her do. Stop it, cat. Okay, on my way. Almost there. I'm surprised this run has taken this long. Come on, skip. Ooh, not quite. Oh! Nope, still got it. That's a fun any percent trick that, uh, that you get to do in the any percent run in this. Um, that's also probably the most interesting trick you'll do in any percent, unless you're really good at the game. Uh, you don't have to do the flight levels in vortex percent because there are no vortexes in those levels. You're just going through all of the end level portals. And then fighting nasty. So in this, you don't need to do the flights in, um... hundred twenty percent you do need to do the flights. In any percent you do some of them, but not all of them. I don't know why I flamed that. I don't know what I was thinking. Damn, I hate these guys. Got through it pretty quick, though. And on to the Nork himself. Nat Dog, am I ready for the new game? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, let's see if I can get these. Oh, come on, camera. I just want to get these thieves. Nope. Ow. Oh, not quite. You can get that thief before he even starts moving, but it's tricky. You can also get that thief just like that. I can't believe I did that first try. Oh my god. <clears throat> so, Nat Dog, did you play these games a lot as a kid, or did you discover this series later in life? Which is also fine. I know a lot of people discovered these games in, like, their late teens or 20s. Ah, awesome. Well, I'm actually sorry that you caught me when you did, because this is... That's the run. The 3103... Where does that put me on a leaderboard? Hey, second to last. Thirteenth place. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Oh, Lucas improved Ganasty his run. Ganork? Good for him. His toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Okay, I guess I'll let the credits run before I uh, end the stream, because it's 5.30 a.m. here. Next? I should probably I sleep at some point, right? I mean, right? That's that's a thing that people do. Uh, there's... Okay, so there's Nasty's loot, which, uh... Which requires getting everything in the game. But obviously I did not get everything in the game, I just went through all of the portals. Um... 
so in Vortex Percent, you don't have to, you don't have to do Nasty's loot at all. You just go through all of the portals and then beat Nasty. This is a fun run. I actually enjoy this a lot. I might enjoy this more than any percent. Um, I might start running this over any percent, actually. This is a lot of fun. Uh, hello, Poomers KJT. Uh, vortex percent means go through every end level portal in Spyro. Um, you put in a cheat code at the beginning of the game to unlock all of the worlds, and that's it. Uh, any percent just means beat the game, get to the end, fight the boss, get to the credits. Um, which, you know, has a different definition in every game. In Spyro, uh, any percent just means beat nasty. Oh, thank you, NetDog, for the follow. Love these credits. This beautiful song by Stuart Copeland. And my cat. My cat is really wanting attention right now. Cat, come here. Come on. Now she's just rolling on the floor across the room. Uh, yeah, Stuart Copeland, I think, was the drummer for the police. Um, and honestly, I mostly know him as the composer for these games. I, I never listened to the police. I only know that as a factoid about Stuart Copeland. Ooh, NetDog, N++ is a very good game. If you enjoy 2D platformers, let me tell you, N++ is the best there is. It's what I was running right before this. But anyway, the credits have ended. I appreciate the follows, everybody, and all of the views and the support. I am going to have a sleep now. Uh, have a good day or night or whatever, wherever you are.